Let us consider a sphere of radius r. We need to find the moment of inertia of this sphere. Before that, let us consider the x and y axis. Let this be, let this be the x axis and this one be the y axis. This is y, this is x. Suppose the sphere is rotating about the y axis in this direction. Let this be O. So we need to find the moment of inertia of this sphere. For that, let us consider let us consider a shape a circular disc shaped figure at a distance y units from the point O. Suppose this length, let this be the center of that circular disc and the distance from the circular disc center of the circular disc to the point O will be let it be y. Since it is a disc it has a small thickness thickness of dy let the thickness be dy and let the radius of the let, let the radius of the circular disc be x. I am just drawing it in here. It will be like this. A disc of radius x and thickness dy. Thickness dy. Now, since it is a, it is a circular disc, uh, it has a moment of inertia half m r square. Before that, let us take, consider the, let us uh, formulate the mass of the disc. We have, let dm be the mass, mass of the disc. Mass will be volume times density, volume into density, where dm is the mass of this disc. But you know, volume is equal to area into thickness and then density is right as that. Area is equal to area of a circular disk is equal to pi r square. Here it is pi x square. Thickness you have dy and the density rho. Clear. So that is the mass. And you know the moment of inertia of a circular disk. You know this disk is rotating about this y axis. And the moment of inertia will be let's call that as di is equal to for a disc the moment of inertia is equal to half mass into distance square or radius square radius square that is di is equal to half into mass is equal to dm into radius in here is x square so that is equal to half dm you already from that as pi x square dy rho into x square. So this can be written as half pi x raised to 4 rho dy. Clear. So that's the moment of inertia of the disk. Now the moment of inertia of the sphere will be the collection of all these disks collection of collection of all these disks from this point to this point so all the collection of these disks from at the topmost point here let's call that a to the point b will be the moment of inertia of the disk so the total moment of inertia will be if if you extend this y axis this point is equal to y equal to, you know, the radius of the circular disk is r. No, no, radius of the sphere is r. Therefore, at the bottom point, it will be y equal to minus r. And at the top point, it will be y is equal to plus r. Clear. Now, total moment of inertia will be integral minus r to r. Then this value, half half pi x raised to 4 rho dy but the variable in here is y so you have to convert the 
x in terms of y. For that, let us consider a triangle like this. Let's call that triangle sum C D O C D O. You know OD is equal to R and this value equal to Y and that is OC equal to Y and C D equal to X. Since it is a per since this is perpendicular or the triangle OCD is perpendicular, you have x square plus y square is equal to r square. Therefore, x square will be r square minus y square. Also, x raised to 4 will be r square minus y square whole raised to 4. So, you can substitute the value of x raised to 4 in here. So, the integral becomes i is equal to minus r to r 1 by 2 pi. You first write the row. Then, instead of x raised to 4, you can write r square minus y square whole square dy. Clear. Now you can take all the constants outside that is i is equal to integral you can write pi rho divided by 2 integral minus r to r minus r to r before that this r square minus y square this is an even function so you can change the integral to 2 times instead of minus r to r you can write 0 to r rho into no not rho into r square minus y square whole square dy now this is equal to you can cancel this 2 and this 2 it will be pi rho 0 to r you can expand this one it is equal to r raised to 4 minus 2 r square y square plus y raised to 4 dy now on integrating you will get you will get pi into rho r raised to 4 is r raised to 4 y minus 2 r square y square is equal to y cube by 3 plus y raised to 4 equal to y raised to 5 divided by 5 0 to r now you can substitute the upper and lower limit before that pi into rho density will be rho is equal to mass divided by volume where m is the mass of the mass of the sphere and v is its volume therefore rho is equal to mass by volume of the sphere is equal to 4 by 3 pi r cube this is equal to you can take this 3 to the numerator 3m divided by 4 pi r cube so this is equal to instead of rho you can write 3m divided by 4 pi r cube now you can substitute the value of r instead of y so this will be r raised to 5 minus 2 into r square into r raised to 3 r square into r raised to 3 is equal to 2r raised to 5 by 3 plus r raised to 5 divided by 5 you can cancel this pi and this pi this will be 3m divided by 4r cube now here the lcm is 50 so you can write 15 r raised to 5 minus here in order to make the denominator 15 you have to multiply it with 5 so 10 r raised to 5 plus 3r raised to 5 divided by 15 cancel this 3 and 15 it will be 5 so m by 
4 r cube into this value will be 18 minus 10 8 8 r raised to 5 divided by 5 r cube and r raised to 5 will get cancelled and it will be r square and 4 and 8 will get cancelled it will be 2 so the final answer will be moment of inertia of the sphere i is equal to 2 by 5 m 2 by 5 m r square so this is the moment of inertia of a sphere